Oh, to be young, handsome, rich, and incredibly talented. Heck, I want to be Camilo Bajegas. Camilo, how you doing? Everything good? Everything's great. Tell me what a typical victory celebration is. You've, you've gotten to do it a few times now. The first one, um, I was so tired. I missed my flight. <laughs> I went back to my hotel, checked in, bought a room service, <laughs> one beer, called family, went to bed. Second one was a little more special. Um, it was a whole week later. It was, it was, yeah, it was a week later, but I had a, a I had more people around. We went to this great day, Nan's restaurant in, in Atlanta where they treat us unbelievable. We had a couple glasses of wine, great food, and um, again, it was an early night. And my third win on tour, uh, Honda Classic. Just had a lot of Colombian friends there, so after I survived the last four holes of that tough golf course, I, I looked at them and said, hey, let's go to the house. We just opened a couple bottles of champagne and just had a, one or two glasses each. And we had some pizza and 10.30 I was in bed. I had to work out next day at 7.30 with my coach. That's dedication. I don't know how people celebrate after a win. I mean, it's, we're so tired. I mean, you're grinding all week. It's so mentally uh, draining, I would say, that uh, at the end you just feel you feel like like you relief and you just wanna you just wanna rest. I've heard Buddy Alexander say that when you were at Florida, there wasn't even anybody on the football team that spent more time in the training room than you did. Is that true? Just look at me. I was, I'm 5'9". I'm <laughs> I used to be 135 pounds, and I was the shortest guy on the golf team. Man, I needed it. I needed it. And I mean, when I got there, it's when I really started thinking I want to play golf for a living. I, those all, all those great opportunities that, that, that I was given at Florida, I decided to take advantage of them. By my senior year, I was uh, one of the longest guys on the team, so it helped. Take us back to 2006, Doral. Tiger and Phil are battling it out, and this kid that nobody's ever heard of from Colombia sneaks in and steals the story. Obviously a special week. I had my family here, parents, grandparents. To finish second in 2006, my rookie year, it was kind of like proving myself I belong here and uh, I can do special things, and, and, but still, you gotta work, it's tough. These guys are good, like I've always said, and like they say. What would you be doing if this wasn't your job, if you weren't a PGA Tour player? That question comes up uh, here and there, and I always say, <laughs> I'm just happy I do what I do. Absolutely. It's a good thing to do. I love it. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a lot harder than people think. And you know that. And uh, it's, that's why we've got to work so hard. And, uh, but you've got to maintain that uh, passion and, and keep it going. Thanks. you got it. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it.